to this uh, press meet. I'm very happy that uh, many of you have joined us today at a very short invitation. I welcome my distinguished colleagues, Pro VC Registrar, other faculty members, and all of you to this meeting. My dear friends, uh, I'm Sandeep Sancheti. This is my first opportunity here in Chennai to meet the press, and uh, I'm very excited to talk to you and share some good details and uh, new things which have happened in SRMIST, an institution, a university, which is uh, known throughout the country, which is doing extremely well, and which has raised the flag uh, to a further higher level in terms of the higher education space. Uh, Tamil Nadu is a very leading state when it comes to higher education, and within that, SRMIST is one of the most leading university of the state, not only state, country. It is possibly one of the second or third biggest university of the country in terms of the size of students as well as the faculty which it has. We have around 50,000 students, more than 50,000 students, and more than 3,250 faculty members on our roles. So for an institution of this size, to make an impact at a national level with the quality benchmark is very important. And I'm very proud to tell you, like my colleagues, that uh, we have done extremely well under the new revised scheme which was launched in last October, in October 2017 by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council. SRM IAC is the first one to have achieved a benchmark of 3.51 and above. Now 3.51 is important because Government of India, which has started many new initiatives recently, many of you have heard of institution of eminence, Many of you have heard of categorization of institution, category 1 and category 2. So the highest category is given for a score 3.51 and above, and SRMST has been the first one to achieve that. My dear friends, only out of 33 institutions, uh, universities which have been considered so far, only three have attained it till now. We are the first one to have attained. The other one, of course, being India's number one university, the so-called Indian Institute of Science, they have also attained that. So we are in that top bracket of leading institutions of the country which have done well and proud to all of us and particularly to the region. And not only that, that we have got the NAC score of that 3.5 and we have got the grading of category one grading, which will give us a lot of liberty, which will give us a lot of freedom. I'm proud to tell you that institution with this sort of a rating and ranking possibly can start new programs, courses, schools, centers, disciplines, uh, in addition to whatever they are running without much of visits and permissions and clearances. They may start the constituent units and off-campuses, which we will be very keen to start in some specialized area of campuses That means our jurisdiction is entire country because we are a deemed university. So we can start new things in any part of the country also. It also gives us some liberty in terms of internationalization, but we may not start the international campuses to begin with. We may start research parks like some of the IITs do, incubation centers and other things which are there. And by the way, we have already backed some Government of India projects for starting the entrepreneurship and incubation in a big way. Around a five crore project is going to be launched by us very soon in this particular domain. We may hire foreign faculty, we may take foreign students in good numbers, that's another liberty given to us by Category 1. And we have already started a uh, big way with the students. Around 62 nationalities are present on the SRMIST campus. And we also started hiring in recent times faculty from foreign origin. Senior faculty from foreign origin have been hired by us in recent times. We may also allow various things in terms of admission classifications that up to 20% of our students can be coming from foreign category or the outside India. We may also start uh, something about uh, the new academic collaborations with this particular freedom. We can join hands with foreign partners to start integrated program, dual degree programs, 
research uh, driven programs and various other things can be there and obviously one more important thing that we can start programs on the open and distance learning while doing all all these things we'll obviously follow the norms of the country norms of the ugc norms of the aict so we are very happy that in recent times government has started giving autonomy and freedom like this to many institutions and SRMIST is one of the biggest beneficiary, earliest beneficiary and not only that, that we will also be coming under a category called 12B which was generally reserved for the government or government aided institutions where the government funding support will come to the institutions. So SRM, IST because of its category 1 status will also fall under the 12B category automatically. It will be listed on the UGC website and henceforth will be considered on priority for the research funding by various institutions of the government, including the AICTs and UGCs. So this is something which we all feel proud of and the state of Tamil Nadu and people of the region should feel proud of. And through you, we would like to propagate this message to the entire region and the set of people here that SRMST is doing very well and we are ready to go and do more newer things which the system demands, which the people demand, which the industries demand. And not that, that the recognition has come only from the government side. We are one of the only around 26, 27 universities which are under category 1. And uh, I am also the president of Association of Indian Universities. So around 950 universities are there in the country, of which around 27, 28 are in category 1 as of now. And we are one amongst them. That's a huge recognition for us. By the way, large number of institutions in category 1 are from Maharashtra state. Then I think there are two each from Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, and then Tamil Nadu has three, and there may be an odd one more like that, and that is the composition which we have about the category one institutions which are there. With this label, attainment of this label, we are raring to go, and we'll go for the status of what we call institution of eminence. That's another label through which government will be branding us even more and be becoming more liberal towards us and that is the next level which we are trying to achieve.